talking about growth and stuff there's this really cool article courtesy of um architects digest that came out a while ago regarding the one and only dixon um featuring his home in berlin and how he's basically spruced it up and it looks absolutely beautiful it really really does and um, the title is at home with dixon this is how a dj lived in the capital of techno um it's funny to see that he actually lived in berlin and his house looks like a house you see in berlin or the interior design but the vibe is very much not berlin it's kind of like purposefully toned it down so that it could be like a bit of a respite from all the craziness that he has to get up to on the you know on a daily basis when he's out on tour so i really do like um that approach from him so if you see the actual article itself scrolling down here courtesy of ad let me just get up on you it says um being on the road is routine for dixon this is obviously translated from german so it's going to be a little bit funky with a grammar so please forgive me um there been times when he has been traveling for more than half a year sometimes for days sometimes for weeks the home of stefan berkman that's the real name of the Ber of dixon is in berlin the city that is more closely interwoven with the culture and electronic music here in the west of, Di of berlin um dixon stands in a corner of his bedroom leaning against a cool wall points to a laminated sorry a lime plastered arch opposite says this is my meditative corner a place that you can't quite place he could be anywhere and first of all the high ceilings absolutely amazing um the flooring absolutely amazing all the custom sort of cabinets and whatever this little gold thing or this little this really big gold amazing thing in the middle is basically the kitchen counter that has the gas stove on it it has loads of cabinets has an oven and it's just been made to look like a cube with all these little um compartments i'm sure that are drawers and stuff that you can pull out that's been custom designed which looks incredible um again nice big rooms i love some of the paneling and the borders on some of the doors and stuff is absolutely gorgeous looking um it's all been renovated by him and an architectural firm that he kind of hired to put this stuff together um it says here that i uh, quote we wanted to neutralize the comfort of the old building without destroying the core elements um and i also love the fact that apartments in berlin like much like places like in new york and stuff have this ability where they could be like really small looking like a paris london apartment but it could also be incredibly huge where they kind of look like a massive house or mansion type of thing so i like that vibe because as much as i have want to as much as i would want to live in a house nowadays and have the ability to have a garden and shit i also do like the convenience of having the ability to live on one floor that's why maybe I understand why people love to live in like maisonettes and shit. Um, because those places you can basically, you know, you can build out as far as you want, but you don't have to kind of build upwards and you can have the ability to just have, you know, basically everything on the same level, especially when you're moving furniture around. It's pretty handy to do all this type of things. Um, it continues here. Got some nice detailing here on the column. Um, it says, yeah, we didn't want it to look like a kitchen studio emphasizes Anna of, uh, of fact, um, it says in the kitchen, all the work surfaces are traditional, the same height. And um, that doesn't make sense to him. So his gas hobs are now lower so that you can see the pots better and the work surfaces are higher so that you don't have to bend down necessarily. The oven disappears in the built-in row designed by Ebers because we didn't want it to present like a trophy. So you've got this whole entire thing, which is basically where the kitchen stands. That's where the hobs are and shit. You see it there, right? All the hobs, you've got places here where you can put other things and shit. It's just like an amazing, I've never actually seen a kitchen or a, an, a kitchen island or whatever designed in this way especially in the middle like it, like it is usually you see these things on a side or whatever but have it in the middle is quite interesting i'm sure for the ventilation it probably works best as well but i just like the fact that most of all the stuff the stuff the, the, the other and all the other compartments is basically hidden in this huge mirrored um glass box they got in the middle it's really really cool it kind of reminds me a little bit of the crystal maids as well if you remember that show from back in the day um it says here as well in general um you hardly find a technology in the home which is a cool little thing. Think about that. You hardly find any technology in the home of the art and media of Fierce and DJ, who together founded the fashion label Together We Dance. There is only a music box that looks a bit like a lost in the kitchen. In contrast to the performance in a club, music at home does not have to impress with our science technology. It says, it's not that we don't like listening to music, it says Anna Ofak, whose calm demeanor often hides subtle humor when it comes to um, the unbuilt technology. You're extremely undemanding. So that's a really interesting approach he's this famous world touring dj um music basically rules his life he's got his own label bloody blah 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 puts on these amazing parties everything is basically music infused and in his entire home there's not a lot of technology and there isn't like a sound system like a bespoke sound system there's not like a rotary mixer in the living room there's not a dj pioneer set up somewhere in the bedroom nothing 
all, the only thing that's there is just living stuff like to eat sleep drink or whatever it may be and i feel like that's probably the best balance a touring dj like a dixon or somebody on that level could need the ability to go home and literally unplug not have to be surrounded by the same thing just running about when you go out and stuff which also goes to show that most likely touring dj life is not as always kind of you know it's not also always shaped up to be maybe after a certain point in time things do get a little bit formulaic things do get a bit boring and whatever and the last thing that you want to be doing is be surrounded by people that you're surrounded by in the clubs when you go home or that similar self of vibe you want to just completely disconnect from it so i really do like that he's kind of taken that approach um especially when you consider there was a time when dixon was complaining about the amount of gigs he was doing right which is a fucking privilege in its own but also goes to show just how much it was maybe taking over overtaking his life i remember reading earlier interviews how important his family was to him the balance that he had you know to be able to go home and kind of unwind with his kids and his family blah 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 so it's good to see that he's kind of that sort of like hesitation nervousness anxiety has also played its way into the design so that the house is somewhat stripped back and bare so that he can unplug and he can disassociate and then most likely this probably adds to the fact that his performances are so good mostly consistently because that disconnect i feel like because he's not all the way out partying every single night he has a good time when he goes i'm sure but then when he's at home he's at home and it completely turns off i think that balance is super super necessary here in berlin is my job to focus on release of politics and contracts it says um it's only when i'm on the road in a taxi on a plane in a hotel room that i engage with music professionally wow okay interesting so no music business or anything gets done at home he says only when i'm on the road in a taxi on a phone or in a hotel room so that's only when it, that that thing happens i need a vacuum at home uh, that's why there's no studio here instead art by alicia quade michael dean um gotam gush alexander Dom domanovich and sanya katravoski so loads of art and stuff but no music no nothing respect that respect it the apartment is still not a museum yet it conveys a complete com a complete a contemplative feeling some rooms seem almost sacred it's fitting when you know how dixon fans flock to the clubs as if it were their church the djs and his wife are also looking for a transitional experience in their own way trans moderna another joint project which offic is a creative director um they use the club immersively play around with a world of light and videos of virtual reality and let the music sounds get under your skin they mention a lot of the wife in this article and it's clear especially when you think of the picture that's leading the article right it's both of them standing um in front of this amazing gold um sort of like work surface flipping kitchen thing they got going on there right um his wife anna ofak it's very clear that most likely why this relationship works because i remember that um you know interview with um what's his face i've got the dj's name on on twitter who basically went on nelk and basically was like hey no dj like professional who's married is faithful i think 90 percent of them aren't because it's just impossible to be faithful and to have a stable relationship when you're on the road djing as much as that as he is and i thought that made sense but it also was a little bit more it was a little bit um it was a little bit sweeping in that in that terms because i feel like there's people who are older most likely who are able to kind of balance that a lot easier i think when you're a younger dude and you're just coming into a bit of fame a bit of money it probably is a lot harder to kind of hold down a relationship while you're being on the road and you're doing that touring life but i would imagine if you're a little bit longer in the tooth you have a little bit more experience the law of the outside and of like groupies and stuff isn't as much as when you were younger it doesn't really it's the same thing it just keeps repeating itself every year different faces maybe they get younger maybe they change but it's not different you know so i completely understand where they're coming from but maybe the key to their successful relationship especially in the dance music space is either having somebody that's completely divorced from what you do or somebody that's involved with what you do there's no in between you know you have to have somebody that can, has their own thing going on where they're working buddy blah, 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 keeping themselves busy or that person is directly involved with your business whether they, they do your accounts they're your manager whether like um dixon's wife here they've created director of various projects that you got going on and shit that's probably really important to kind of keep in their relationship marriage somewhat solid that she has some involvement so you're kind of plugged in and aware of what's going on maybe you go to certain gigs yourself bloody blah, blah, blah especially when they're in the home city or places that you can maybe travel with the kids all those things are super super important you would imagine into making sure they have a stable somewhat of a stable relationship so maybe that kind of plays into it because there is a lot of mention of her in the article which is quite nice to see and it's not just him saying hey i'm the fucking wizard here um it's cool that he's kind of basically saying hey because she kind of provides a stable 
stable family home when I go back and it's completely divorced from what I do when I'm on the road it kind of helps us to kind of do what I'm doing and so it basically in a way that he's saying you'd imagine um there's all this also this look at this amazing bathroom you've got this great kind of exposed granite like look on the tub and I love how this door here is all blue in the arch that's so great um it says yeah the the just yorge ebba sorry designed the bathroom as a homage to japanese on scene spas the extra tall bathtub with the altar appeal has a side opening that allows water to drain from the center of the room absolutely incredible in berlin where dixon began his career in 1990s we are very grateful for our home it says um uh, leaning on a window ledge looking at the husband a japanese inspired bathroom this space pays homage to the unseen culture the tub a wash bin and wall paneling are pers uh, pers uh, puristic design sorry made from light italian natural stone that your gabbers likes to use hidden in the walls is a brush shrine with a space of a sp single candle everything is in flow literally because of the water and the bathtub a detail that exemplifies how the smallest intervention can have the major aesthetic impact one of the other things that corner have mentioned as well looking at the space is that this is probably why I think great cities are the way they are, especially Berlin, even though it's kind of a bit, you know, run down. It looks like a bit of like a bomb site. One of the great reasons why I think it's a good place to go for a weekend trip for a lot of people out there, even if you're not into dance music, is that it's one of those weird places where regardless of what you're into, you can find it. So if you just want to go on tourist sort of jaunts, checking out landmarks and shit, going to galleries, going on a little food tour, going on a pub crawl, going to watch fucking sporting events, cultural events, club, you can find a, the wave that you're on. You don't need to go down the whole techno clubbing thing that I'm always on. It doesn't need to be that. You can literally go and just have a touristy time out you know i you know fucking watching loads of people walking by and stuff in cool parks checking out landscapes cool architecture whatever it may be that can exist and you could also if you want to i'm assuming when you have homes you could be in the heart of the city where all that hustle and bustle is happening or if you want to be a bit far out you can do that also because this is in the west so most likely he might live somewhere around that like the wedding -y type of area right which is a little bit more i would say grown up but there's a lot more families there it's not as crazy as maybe places like neuklon and Koichberg and all this other malarkey it's a bit more out of the way so you don't need to be communicating or crossing paths with people that party all the time so that's probably more important and maybe you'll probably get a lot more space for your money out there too because it's not in the heart of everything that's bustling which I, I assume is probably not the case because but it's probably expensive everywhere nowadays but i think that kind of adds to it um overall so that's why i usually recommend places like berlin and places like that to go to even places like madrid and barcelona because i feel like they have the ability to be whatever holiday you want it to be do you want to go get fucked do you want to go get high do you want to have a good time do you want to eat do you want to drink whatever you can kind of find it whereas i feel like places like london the reason why it's a bit of a shit city is there's only certain things you can do really after after a while it's just kind of the same shit um you, you kind of have to be on a certain flow and that's basically what you have to kind of do there so i really did enjoy this article like i said i really did enjoy the fact that the house is completely divorced from music um there's loads of books here um, hardly any musical equipment and it's kind of all done purposely um, as a way to kind of have it be a, an oasis um, from all of the things that Dixon's kind of exposed to when he's out there on the road doing his normal DJing tour life thing so big up Architectural Digest big up Dixon big up his wife as well um, for obviously holding it down and being a good collaborator and partner in crime and as per usual as the saying goes happy wife happy life in it happy wife happy blood clot wife